I pray for you, sentence. sir. Listen to me. Last person that ever tried me like this died 30 days later. I pray for you. They, you call, you got his number. I'm what's your name? Kylie. Give me your name. Cyrus. Okay. okay, so give Kylie. me your give... I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop touching me. Don't. Yeah, stop touching me. No, take me where you need to take me immediately, expeditiously. On June 20th, 2024, at approximately 3.15 a.m., Officer Keith Wadsworth was on duty near the entrance to Red Martini, an upscale lounge in Buckhead. Officer Wadsworth overheard a loud argument and approached the scene, where he observed a female, later identified as Christina Peterson, involved in a physical altercation and being restrained by security. Additional allegations surfaced that a male had struck a female prior to Officer Wadsworth's arrival. Ms. Peterson, who is a judge, reportedly attempted to protect the assaulted female. Officer Wadsworth attempted to intervene when Ms. Peterson approached him aggressively, shouting and striking him in the upper chest area. Ms. Peterson was immediately placed under arrest. I just told you. I go, what? No, no, no. 
I don't know. I walked over there to separate it, and I got punched. That's it. He seen me. He said, get up, bro. I'm trying to break it up. Right. Oh, punch me. That's it. Yeah. Got to control yeah. itself. That's it. Six nine five five extra radio. Hey, what happened to the other girl? The girl she had the conflict with. Six nine five five extra. Show me about sixteen G. He would never. Start a mileage one two six eight four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta go. Back. I don't know. All right, man. Appreciate you, bro. It remains unclear how intoxicated Ms. Peterson was at the time of the incident but her aggressive demeanor and lack of compliance with police procedures were evident. She refused to provide her name or any identification information, resulting in her transfer from Atlanta City Jail to Fulton County Jail, both of which failed to identify her through standard procedures. She broke out a little bit. Can you realize what, what did she do? Nothing. Uh, security Nothing. was uh, separating a fight. Uh, I was he hit a woman, he, he abused the uh, woman. She she ran and up. And I combo up like a push and punch. And, uh, he put me in handcuffs. And I, placed her in handcuffs. I was not in agreement so with I'm going to take her free. Of, of a poor woman. My God. I didn't even buy the mental much respect. My God. My God. Ma'am. Look at the videotape, ma'am. Do you need to go to the hospital? That is so disrespectful. Do you need to go to the hospital? God is not pleased. Don't okay, what what so, God is so not listen. Pleased. Maybe if you wasn't you drinking. You right now, maybe if you wasn't. Let me. Maybe if you wasn't drinking. Maybe if you wasn't drinking, you would have known that I walked over there to separate it. So there you go. And that's why you're going to jail. I observed him and he, in the name of Jesus, Lord, he has been touched by a devil in the demonic spirit, Lord, that he has put his hands upon me in, 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 in retaliation, and Lord, in his, his demonic spirit, Lord, I'm going to let him live in what he has lived in, Lord, and he's not going to succeed, but he's going to do what he's going to do in this moment, but Lord, you said it is Throughout the process, Peterson verbally abused Officer Wadsworth and demanded he contact certain government officials in exchange for her cooperation. All right, ma'am, what's your first name? So I can book you in. Now, I have to book you in. You want to provide your name? Reading, reading, 1207. You want to provide your name so you can get booked in? I know my rights. Okay, I'm you asking, do you want to provide your name? I have not committed a crime. Book me in right now. Okay, I need your name. Book me in. I have not committed a crime. Book me in. What items do you have on you? Excuse me. I don't have shit on me. <laughs> Alright, I need your first name and your last name so I can book, book you in. Me in. I can't book you in. Book me in. It doesn't matter. Take me in the hand. Take me in, sir. Okay. Unbuckle me and book me in. Okay. okay. You wanna get booked in so you can go home? Sir, I don't give a listen to me, sir. Book me in. Because I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna win at the end. Book me in, unbuckle okay, me. Okay, so if you want to get booked in, I need your name and date first. You you should have known that when you uh when you uh, arrested me without oh, cause worry. and don't provocation. Worry. Thank don't you. Worry. I get it. I respect that. You want me to call somebody for you? What's the number? Oh.
So which one do you want me to call first? I think you got it confused. I really do. No, I think you have it confused. Everybody was there? You know I was sitting in the car, right? So I don't know which... You were not sitting in the car. Are you serious? Who was beating on that lady? You. You beat on that woman. You know I have this camera on the whole time. So who... Why... What woman did I beat? Which woman did I beat? At Red Martini, I was sitting in the car. You can't. It's called Red Martini. That's what I said. I said Red Martini. What woman did I put my hands on? She was not aggressive with you. She was not abusive with you, sir. Yeah, I think you. I think you. I think you had too much to. I think you had too much. I think you had too much to drink. I think you had too much to drink because you can't, you can't, you can't remember what happened. Yeah, hold on, first of all, you can't remember what happened. I wasn't driving, sir. I didn't say well, anything about driving. What you said. I didn't say anything about driving. What you did was put your hands on that lady and then okay. you punched me to the ground. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't lie, I don't have to lie. The camera will tell everything. No, there is no reason to lie. Yeah, it was on. So I was can't it? wait. I yeah. Oh, well, guys, answering your call. What you need me to help spell? No, I don't need help spelling like anything. <laughs> no, I just need help spelling your name. I'm trying to. You're trying to, bro. I'm not going to county. Well, you, you, you're making it take longer. I'm just going to finish the report. Don't worry about it. Okay. You want to go home? Do you want to get booked in so your friends can get you? Yeah. I've been watching his show. Listen. I want you Why? to. I want. I want to book you in. Yeah. You don't want to get booked in though. I could give a. I, listen, you don't I, care to get booked I, in. And what you do? I would love for you to pick up the phone and call who I asked you to call. Call the people that I asked you to call. Call Stan. Call Kylie. Call. Call. They. Okay. For who? Call them for who? Call them for who? Me. I don't know who you are. <laughs> what you? Know who I, am. I don't know who you are. And ask them. Ask them. And would I ever put my hands on a man more, more or less? Ask them who, who, who? More, who? more or less an officer, would who? I ever? Well, you did. No, I didn't. You did. You. I'm the officer. What, 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 what hands am I going to put on an officer? You punched that woman to the ground and then did me. So don't what? ever try me. My God. Oh. Take me where I need to go because you are harassing me. It's called false in prison. Take me where I need to go. I, would, I should never be sitting in a police car for 80 minutes. And I am not under arrest. You are you under have arrest. Not said I'm under, you, have, you are under you arrest. Are under you have arrest. the right to remain silent. Any way you say, anything you say can be, or will be used against you in a court of law. You have not told me that. You have not told me what I'm under arrest for. You have not told me what I have done. Let's be very clear. This is false imprisonment. This is malicious prosecution. Please understand what you Ma'am, you are under arrest for disorderly and conduct. And, disorderly and you are going to the Atlanta City Jail. Disorderly conduct, sir. You are going to the Atlanta City Jail. Disorderly conduct, please, sir. And I need your name and date of Okay, I need your name and date of birth to put you in the city. You know who your I don't know who you are. Your name and date of birth has to go on this ticket. No. You put book me in. Your name has to go on this ticket. Me, they'll understand. They'll Man, your name has to go on this ticket. Relax and get me I'm there. telling you, your and name has to go on this ticket. Don't ever disrespect who I am. Your name has you to go on this ticket. On the news. Relax. I, I have no idea. I have no idea who you are. And you will. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm yeah. not losing my job. I'm not losing my job. Okay. So. But here's the thing. The, the money okay, I think the county. I think the county. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I think the county. The county will get you. Which They'll be able to work. Yeah. Which county? We'll go to Rice Street. <clears throat> what county is this? Where are we? 
No, don't worry about it. What county is this? Take me here. I want to book in. You don't want to book in. I'm asking for your name and date of birth so I can write it I on a ticket to book to book you in. You don't want to. I want to book in. All right. Ma'am, I'm trying to get this pro. You nigga. Okay. I'm trying to get this pro. You nigga. Okay. I'm trying to get this process. You nigga. I'm praying for you right now. Don't don't talk to me. Like I'm really praying for your spirit. As a judge, Ms. Peterson's behavior during the incident raises significant concerns. Her lack of cooperation and aggressive conduct not only undermined the integrity of the investigation, but also cast a negative light on her role within the judiciary. Take me where you need to take me. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of jail. I'm not scared of none of it. Take me where you need to take me. Take me where you need to take me. Stop harassing me. Take me where you need to take me. Stop harassing me. All right, man. I just pray for you. So take listen. me where you need to take me. I'm not scared of you or jail. Please take me where you need to take listen. me. No, I could give a fuck. Take me where you want to take me. You're not going to harass me. And I'm not, I'm not I, I could give a fuck. Listen, what you're doing. listen. No, fuck you, nigga. Stop playing with me. You are, you have beat a woman and you beat me to the ground. Take me where you want to take me. I can't take no, you. I don't take have any me. identification. And me. I don't care. You don't need that identification. You have I locked do. people up and you, you have picked up dead bodies where you don't know who bodies it was, but you picked them up. Take me where you need to take me. I'm trying to. No, take me where you need to take me immediately, expeditiously. <laughs> You're preventing Take that. me. I could give a damn. Take me where you want to so take me. So how do you want me to take you somewhere now, expeditiously? Now. Take me where you want to take me. You, I pray for you. I, I, I promise I pray for you because your life, you have a long life to live. I promise you. I pray for you. Ma'am, I need your first name and last name. I pray for you, name, sir. Please. Listen to me. So I can book you in so you the can last go on with your day. So you can go on with your day. Sir, the last, person that did, the last person that ever tried me like this died 30 days later. Ms. Peterson attempts to use emotional blackmail to intimidate the officer using Lord's name in vain in an attempt to avoid accountability. Ms. Peterson displays traits and characteristics that do not paint her in the best light. I sincerely hope she can use this incident to improve herself as an individual. He, he abused that woman outside. He had tried to abuse me, Lord, right now. I ask that you forgive him. I ask that you put it in his heart and his spirit, Lord. I pray that you let him live and understand. I pray. He don't understand, Lord, and let if he feels this is a mockery, Lord, please let him understand. Oh, Ma'am, I'm trying to get please you booked in so you can go Lord, home. Lord, he doesn't understand what this is. He doesn't understand the spirit of God because he's understand. What, he's under, he's understood what the good old boy and proud boys is. He understood what the Illuminati is, but he don't know what you are. It's not on my hands. It's on that woman's hands that he beat to the ground just a minute ago that I wouldn't watch. Let him take me where I need to be. Ma'am, I need your home. name so I can Let take you where you want to go. Let me make home where I need to be. Where do you want to go? Let me make home where You want to go home? Where I need to be, Lord. Listen, At I'm cutting you. Moment. Listen. No, because I'm I cutting. I'm getting. I'm, getting I'm not giving I you asked space. You to call. You got his number. I What's your name? Kali. Give me your name. Cyrus. Okay. okay. So give Kali. me. Your, give me your name and I'll call, call him. Kali. Cyrus. Kali. Give me call your him. name. Give me your name call and I'll call him. him. Call him now. Give me your name and I'll call him. He will know with my voice. Call All right. Don't right worry now. about it. Don't worry exactly. about it. Exactly. APD. I got one in custody. At the city jail, Ms. Peterson refused to provide her name or any biographical information necessary for her booking. This lack of cooperation prevented the jail staff from completing the intake process.
make up your telephone. For what? Man, I wasn't cuffed. I wasn't when it needed Man. to be. Shut the Stop touching me. Don't. Yeah, stop touching me. Me, stop touch. I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. This nigga be the woman and think I'm about to watch it and get cold. You weird ass nigga. Listen. We'll see, I could have gone with you just need a name? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 Where are we going? We can identify you. And where are we going? We got to leave. Leave where? Where are we going? Back in the car. Yeah. Is this the jail? Mm -hmm. Why can't I go to the jail? You don't want to get booked in. You don't want to provide oh, a name. Book? So what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Your name? Call Kali. You got Kali. You know I don't know who Kali is. You don't know who Kali is? Mm -hmm. He don't work for Atlanta Police Department. He does? Yes. But I know, I still don't Can know. Can you call Kali? Do you know Kali? No. You acting like you don't know Kali. We don't. We don't know who Kali is. Can we get your name? So we you can don't know Kali. Can we get Cyrus your name? Cyrus Kali. Yes, I do no. Call Todd Coy. What's your name? Cause yeah. Span. Okay. Lieutenant okay. Span. Okay. One of those. Call him. Call him. Call him. Yeah, 24, 24. But you Sorry. can't get booked in, we don't have your name in Sir, uh, nobody cares. If somebody committed a murder, you would be booking them in, regardless. Because you you don't give a fuck who they are. Okay, all right. Come on. All right, we gotta go. This is harassing. Right. Don't touch Don't yeah. touch me. Come on. Don't, I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Come on. Don't fucking touch me. Come on, let's go. Come on. We ain't no action. Because you don't want to call them because you know you're going to be on, on, the, on the bus shit. It's crazy. Okay, why it's work. Okay. Where you went? To the party? You was at a concert? He beat the bitch to the ground. I was leaving. I was just like, Girl, I've never met her a day in my life. Well, I'll take it to county. Uh, hey, I, if something happened to me, we got you. You been watching. Oh, don't make this. Listen to me. Where's your camera? I don't You can't let me get in this car with this fucking lunatic. Give me your name. If you give me your name, then you'll be booked here. You'll be with us. Fuck. Just give Listen. me your name. No. What's your name? You, no. Call. Do what I have I don't to know. Call. I don't you do I don't know Polly. Yes, you do. Who is that? Who, where's, where's she working? Him. Where he working? Where Atlanta Police working? Department. Well, I, mean, I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. Do you know Peggy? No. She there with Penny. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. I don't know the people. Yes, you do. If you give me your name, then you stay here. LeVar. Oh. I don't know their numbers. You don't know LeVar. I know who he is, but I don't have his number. Call them all. And tell him I can't. How am I gonna tell? I got to call him and I will say hello, and they will know who I am. You can't do that. Like so you need to rest. It's a rest. And I will. Call. Are you recording this? No, I, I, you're, I, I you're, appreciate you're, it. You're, you're Are you recording? Ma'am, you can be here and stay here and your friends can pick you up no. the ones that were in the Audi Listen that's it all I have to do is put your name and date of no. birth on here so you can get booked in you you that's a liar right. you're a liar I'm telling because you what I'm what talking about you're accusing me of and you're a liar you beat that bitch to the ground and you hit me you to the ground you have the wrong person yes yeah. that was you no you're drunk and I'm I, telling you I don't even like okay, that you weirdo and, that, and that's why you're acting like this are you gonna give us the information so you can stay here or are you get back in the car are you gonna let me die in the car with this okay, fucking you're girl? Not, you're not gonna die. Good luck. Despite attempts to identify her through fingerprint scanning, these efforts were unsuccessful. Why are you fingerprinting? Why are you fingerprinting? You know why? I'm 
Multiple police officers attempted to reason with Peterson, but their efforts were futile. Somebody refusing to identify themselves. I'm um, using fingerprint scanner. They're not coming back. Do you guys have any alternatives? Right, now, what if they don't come back? Are you still able to take them in or no? Okay. Okay. Intake supervisor about to be on the phone. Uh, intake supervisor, I'm ready. 
Oh, uh, so they, they um, called him already? Did she? I didn't call her. Uh, call him. Did she have anything on her? Like, did you get the cards or? Yeah, she been dragging this shit. Yeah. She, she, she ain't had no pocket book on the ground, nothing like that. Uh, no man, I was dealing with something else. She came over and just, uh, just went like just out of nowhere, something. See, and she been like this the whole time. I don't even think she, she don't even know. Yeah. She just. What what clothes is that? Red Martini. Oh oh. Yeah. Okay. And usually they be older. They be a little bit. Sometimes. But you got something like this, right? All right, I'll hold that. All right. All right, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? This is Officer Wadsworth with APD. Try that city jail, nothing came back. Is it the same system you guys use at city jail? Uh, is it Atlanta city jail, do you know? No? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I got you. All right. All right, all right, thank you. They said I could try to bring her in that city and try on their system. I mean, that county, try on their system. Um, I was thinking it would be the same thing. Well, yeah, I asked him, hey, do you know if it's the same system? The city was like, they don't know. Is that something different? I can, I can. I, I want to hurry up. Got, um, yeah, but I, but they said if she can't be identified, they can't take her. I don't know. All right, run down the floor. Another female officer comes along to reason with Peterson. But once again, Peterson is categorically against identifying herself to the police. Chief Shervon? Who? Chief Shervon? How long they been here? 
Shivon, I don't know. He's been here a really long time. He was my major before been. he been a chief. A, a chief, how long has he been a chief? Maybe a year or two. Okay, I'm about to say it ain't been long. But I still don't know how that's relevant right now. Again, we're going to take you down to Fulton County. We're trying to get Listen. you identified there. We're just trying to help you. If you don't mind being here, you said Listen, you can be all sir, day. I don't even, ma'am, I don't even know what I'm being arrested for at this point, ma'am. If you can tell me It's something. a city charge. But Call me would, city charge. Call me her name again. But can you tell yeah, me? I'm just gonna, yeah, you I'm just going to do a county me, charge. You can't scare me with that. You can tell me what I've been arrested for, and I would be I'm very... It's a city charge obstruction. This, no, he said... It's only conduct. No, yeah, it's just only... Oh, wow, they're changing the charge. It's just only conduct. So what was the charge? What's the charge? It's just only conduct. Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. What did I do? Man, we went over this. What did I do? What did I do? Violent and tumultuous acting, acting violent and tumultuous. What did I do? You interfered as I was talking to somebody and punched me in my oh. chest. I'm not charging you but with battery on a law enforcement officer. I'm charging you with disorderly conduct. You can go home. You can signature bond out. Officer Wadsworth might have been willing to show initial leniency towards Christina Peterson, but the final decision to charge her was made by the prosecutor's office after reviewing the incident details and evidence. Peterson was ultimately charged with two primary offenses battery against a police officer, and obstruction of justice. If he shows, and he says he that you, a, you put your hands on him? No. He okay. put his hands on me. I just wanted to why, see why, why do I look like, you think I went out looking like this? I don't know I look like this. That man put his hands on me. And he okay. put a hand on another woman. Okay. It wasn't me, ma'am. I don't do that. I don't even know the woman he put his hands on. Well, I haven't, I haven't you, so I'm not going to ask you Exactly, he didn't either. He, he didn't either. Correct. Because I'm, if, if I'm not under arrest, then why he didn't Miranda me? You don't have to. That's oh. Unless, they, unless I'm questioning you. Okay. Which I'm not about. Oh, so who's talking now. to me then? Am I just talking to okay. this? I can speak to you. I can ask you your name. Uh, and I can see how you can cooperate with you to get your name. Uh, I'm not asking you about the incident that well, occurred. I, I think I went in there. I'm not asking you about your name. Can you tell me I went in there? Yeah. And I got fingerprinted. You got, you got scanned to what see if that can come into the system. And what happened? You've been arrested. What happened? It didn't go back because you're not cooperating with us. So I, oh, you said I didn't cooperate? Because you're not giving us you your name. You said I didn't stand by here? You said I didn't do my fingerprints? So at this point, I was just coming to you. Sergeant Daniels, you'll be going to Daniels. Fulton County Jail to be processed for this scan there. Daniels. If you don't come back, you just be going to back to the police. What's your person? first name? I don't have to give you that. Call me back your number is 7162. I'm not arrested. But hold on, I'm not, I'm not either. Allegedly. You are. You're, you are so arrested, you said I'm, man. Oh, I'm arrested now. You At are. what point was I? Once he left that location with you. That's what I thought. You. I, I thought so okay. too, but I didn't know what I was arrested for. But so, I would be an officer sergeant. So you said it was, now you're saying it was, you saying he made up something else. What are you saying it was? Or what's the real charge? Because I just want to make sure I have the charge down. It was obstruction. It was disorderly was conduct. Oh, disorderly conduct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, you said something else. I just want to make sure. I'm, I'm not the arresting officer. So I don't matter what I said when you came sure. to your charges. I'm not arresting you. So if he told you his, your charges previously, that's He charges. never told me, ma'am. So but you said I changed the charges. So you know what's up. I didn't know shit. Okay, so I'm not going to go back sure. and forth. I just wanted to see if you wanted to cooperate before cooperate you somewhere with else. Cooperate with what? With your name. You can't get my fingerprints? Um, I want you to put your toe in. I don't want your toe to get my toe in. Oh, you're here. Put seat seat belt. Belt. Hold on, he's gonna put your seatbelt back on. Go down the county. So he didn't arrest the woman he beat up, or me? So I, I just get beat up. I just get arrested for the person he beat up. Can't watch your phone. I wasn't there. Oh, so you can you can ask the judge whenever that whenever that happens. All right. Can yeah. you push your put your foot in? Daniel, thank you. Thank you. Daniel. Daniel. Thank you. Six nine five five X-ray radio. Six nine five five X-ray. Could you show me around to Fulton County Jail with this um, female? Mileage, one, two, six, nine, three. Eventually, through voluntary statements made by Ms. Peterson, her identity was confirmed. This drunken outburst is a real lapse in professional competency on behalf of Ms. Peterson. 
who, by the way, was not reelected as a probate judge. The Georgia Supreme Court's decision will determine if Peterson completes her current term or is removed earlier due to the numerous misconduct allegations. Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. If you found this video informative, leave us a like, and if you are new here, give us a follow.